And first at five o'clock, the woman who died after being shot in Grand Rapids is identified as the cousin of Kent County Commissioner Robert Womack. Police say 20 year old Kendall Frost was killed Tuesday night in the area of Paris Avenue and Griggs Street in Garfield Park. 13 on your sides, Carla Byron joins us live. Carla, there appears to be an uptick in women falling victim to gun violence. Yeah, that's what Commissioner Robert Womack told me today. And now his family is pleading for help and information and is calling for the community to stand up against gun violence. She was 20 years old, very talented, very educated, and very loved by both her mother and father. Kent County Commissioner Robert Womack is 20-year-old Kendall Frost's cousin. Her father wanted him to relay this message. There's no words that will bring his daughter back. It's a, a nice, innocent young girl that had nothing to do with whatever violence is going out in the street. And for her to lose her life just from association or being in the wrong place at the wrong time is just, is just too heartbreaking for us right now. Womack says Frost was with her boyfriend in a car Tuesday night in the area of Paris Avenue and Griggs Street in the Garfield Park neighborhood. Just another casual day of picking up friends and going about your life and they got ambushed and it led to her death. Womack says his cousin was shot at close range and her boyfriend ran away from the scene. He hopes the community will stand up against gun violence. She's not the first female to be shot in the last 24 months either. There's an uptick in violence against females in our community and it's having deadly results. So we want to get these shooters off the street fast as possible before anybody else get hurt and to make an example to let people know that you just can't go around shooting in our community and think there's going to be no repercussions, no legal repercussions. Police do say there's information a second victim was struck. Anyone with information about the shooting should call Grand Rapids Police or Silent Observer. In the meantime, Frost's family plans to hold a vigil in her memory this Saturday at 5.45 p.m. at the location of the shooting. That's Paris and Griggs. Reporting in the newsroom, Carla Byron, 13 on your side.